again at this monumental folly to speculative redevelopment. The London landmark still bears the scars of the first attempt to turn this cavernous building into a leisure complex. Three years of demolition work in the late 80s saw much of the Art Deco building taken away and nothing of the proposed indoor theme park added. Mounting debt paralyzed the owners Battersea Leisure and the project until three years ago when two Hong Kong brothers bailed both out for 80 million. It's a revised scheme under the Huang Brothers company Parkview International that's being put forward today. The 30-acre site would support at least 10 themed restaurants and bars, a discovery zone, creche and boat trip for children, a theatre and a ride up one of the famous chimneys, not the fake one presumably. Thirteen years after the power station closed, it could be there's energy again to get a botched job put right. Richard Vag, Channel One, Battersea.